So what is Poland famous for? Holy cow, the two things that will always come to my mind were vodka and sausage. This is Marcin Nowinski. He's the co-founder of CD Projekt Red. CD Projekt Red is based in Poland, specifically its capital, Warsaw. It's responsible for the critically acclaimed and award-winning series of The Witcher games, and is currently working on highly anticipated Cyberpunk 2077. Today, CD Projekt Red looks like this, and employs hundreds of people. But the story of CD Projekt Red is one of humble beginnings. The generosity of strangers and two teenagers transforming their passion for games into a studio recognized the world over. You know, my parents couldn't afford uh, a computer back in the day, deep socialism here. So pretty much everyone was equal because we all couldn't afford anything. Frustrated by the lack of availability of computer games, an enterprising Marchen began trading game cassettes he'd received after writing a hopeful letter to a fellow gamer in Greece. I said, hey, my name is Marcin, I'm from Poland. I would like to swap some games, but I don't have any. Could you send me some, please? From this one act of kindness from a stranger, Marcin, still only in high school, was able to create a cottage industry and became a recognized distributor of games across Poland. Over the years, cassettes made way for floppy disks, Floppy disks made way for CDs. Marcin showed the first wave of CD-ROM games to his high school friend, Michal, who suggested importing and selling some of them to test the waters. Within three months, the pair were enjoying such success that they decided to go into business together. So we decided to start a company and that's, that's how it started. But distribution wasn't their passion. We're not these kind of guys. By Marchin's own admission, the creation and success of the first Witcher game was helped in no small part by another major force in RPGs, Bioware. Co-founders Ray Muzika and Greg Sestchuk not only licensed their game engine, but liked what they saw so much, they allowed CD Projekt to demonstrate the Witcher at the Bioware booth at E3 2004. One year from the moment we met them at E3, we were at their booth in the corner, tiny computer, there's still some photographs. The original Witcher took over four years to develop, establishing CD Projekt Red as a developer that was unafraid of taking its time to make its games the best that they could be. Nobody remembers bad games shipped on time. That philosophy underpins everything CD Projekt Red creates and is what has attracted an increasing number of talented individuals to its studio. That deep camaraderie, I think, is something that issues from the type of people that come here wanting to do something excellent in their own field in order to produce something that will absolutely astound gamers around the world. It's not the case that uh, it's just work for people. It's their passion. Uh, it's, it's what they're you know, really interested in, what they think about all the time. The team's passion for the world of The Witcher is evident in the sheer quality and attention to detail of its world, characters, and narrative and such passion is rewarded by the love shown by the CD Projekt Red community. Without your community as, as a game studio, there is basically no you. CD Projekt Red understands that its fans are not only integral to its success, but also deeply ingrained in its culture of continual self-improvement. Them giving us feedback, you know, helping us make our games better because of those messages on, on, on Facebook, on our forums, on Twitter. We read them and, and actually we pass all the feedback to the developers, so they help us make our games better. From distributing mail-order cassettes to creators of one of the best-loved RPG series on PlayStation, CD Projekt Red isn't just a game developer, but a source of national pride. What is Poland famous for? Right now I can say games, and this really changed us. That was this sort of igniting moment, a signal to all the officials, economies, banks, everyone. Games, hmm, it's a business, we can be proud of it, yeah? It's innovation, it's creation.